Oh, hey, welcome to the shed show. Come on in. What's going on, Pops? Hey, I'll tell you what's going on. I got another one of these wheel horse garden tractors I'm working on. Another one? Yeah. You already have one. What are you doing with this one? Well, I got two words for you. Lit. Customization. Okay, that's, uh, that's one. Customization. All right. Okay, that's, uh, that's, uh, the same word again. What are you drinking? I told you you quit drinking. What's this? Let me see that. Spray fluid. Used. Okay, I picked this wheel horse up off some fellow uh, horse collectors locally here. And uh, they didn't know much about it, and I didn't know much about it. But uh, somebody had already repowered it with this engine. And uh, the mice had already uh, also uh, repurposed it as a home. And uh, as usual, they built a nest in it. I took all the tin and stuff off of it, cleaned the carburetor out, and the mice had actually chewed the spark plug wire in two here just to make room for a nest. But, we'll start. I think so. Yeah, we got it running, and uh, whoever put this motor on here did a pretty good job, and uh, I probably shouldn't be doing what I'm doing to it here, but this is why I bought it. Here's a little trick I like to do with all these wheel horses. It makes the wheels easier to put on and off on the back. I take those little lug bolts off and put the lug studs in it. All you have to do is buy some about two inch long, seven sixteenths fine thread and screw them in from the back. Tighten them up and then just use uh, regular lug nuts off a car. So uh, what the old Chevys used to use, 7 sixteenths. But uh, I had another purpose for doing it this way. Oh yeah, that's more to my liking. Uh, these were Unilug wheels, and they just bolted right on there. Use the long shank lug nuts like you use for those. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. That is what I'm talking about. And uh, I don't think the original fenders and stuff's gonna fit on here, so what are we gonna do? I'm gonna take these tine covers off this old uh, Troy Built Tiller, do a little modifying on them, cut them in half, swap sides, use some of the hardware off of the uh, original wheel horse seat there, welded them up like that. That's looking pretty good. Had to do a little bending, a little fitting here and there. I think it turned out pretty good. Also, going to need a seat. And uh, did some measuring, did some more welding. This seat, I believe, is also off a wheel horse. I believe it was off a hydrostatic wheel horse of some sort. And uh, had it laying around. Yeah, let's, let's get some white walls going on the front. Oh yeah. Now if you believe this came off here this easy, you're pretty gullible. I already had it off there once and I just wanted to show how I done it with a strap ratchet there. I took that muffler off. I used a piece of uh, EMT, a 90 that I'd bought, and I welded this uh, fitting on the end of it so I could screw it right on. I believe that's an inch and a half. Okay, we're still waiting on some more parts here. As you can see, this friction material on this brake band has flew the coop. So I ordered some of it, and uh, we're waiting on it. Uh, a little background on this machine. It was and is a uh, GT2500 anniversary special. So it would have left the factory with uh, 11 horsepower Briggs and Stratton. And uh, somebody, before I got it, just put this Kohler Magnum 16 horsepower on there. And uh, that kind of inspired this build, uh, as that the motor looks so massive. So, you know, it looks kind of rat-rotty, looks kind of rat-fink looking 
uh, machine there. And the Briggs and Stratton motor, you know, it would have been 399 cc. And uh, this uh, Kohler is about 588. So it's a lot bigger. And uh, I don't, I'm not too sure. It's, it seems like uh, Kohler really, uh, they started liking the plastic when they uh, made this. You know, this is all, this big cover here, this is plastic, and it covers the carburetor, so you can't see that. You can't adjust the carburetor on the fly. you got to take all that stuff off here. This uh, screen here is plastic. The fan that's on the flywheel, that's plastic. Uh, gas tank's plastic. So I, I don't know. I, I'd like to be in, in on the meeting when they uh, decided to go with all this plastic. Okay, I'd like to present to you today the latest in internal combustion technology. We call it the Kohler Magnum. Yes, this is the new style. We've adorned it with an obscene amount of plastic ornamentation because people these days are buyers. They don't want their engine to look like an engine. They want it to look like uh, one of those robots out of that new Star Wars movie that you see. And uh, so if everybody wants to come up and take a closer look, just feel welcome. And while you're at it, uh, you can take a hit off my crack pipe. motor just looks like it barely fits under the hood makes it the gives it the rat rod look hot rod look and I made a bumper for it I've made a few of these over the years uh, they just weld right on where the mule went and I've also made a few of these weights weighs about 20 25 pounds and fits in there just about like that my goodness are these brake components in bad shape rusted up dirty let's see if we can clean it up here's a little trick i use put a bolt in there chuck it up in the old uh, rockwell drill press and uh, do a little double action sanding on it you always get a little bit wobbly and that makes a cross hatch pattern i guess oh it don't look too bad serious business okay i got this new brake line in on that band got everything cleaned up and back on there it's time to try it out